Oh, I know why. not too loud on the audio side here yet, so I'm just going to dump it up a little bit more. Because, I mean, how can you not want to hear that Commodore 64-bit sound? I mean, it's just... it's so amazing. And we had to wait minutes for a game to load. Like this is all on the on, on floppy disks. You know what? They're almost the size of a CD. I, I am starting to stream. Okay, good. So these things are almost the size of a CD, and they are black. And I probably have here. Look at this. Okay. Floppy disk. This is a five and a quarter floppy disk. Okay. Hey. Look, it's, it's the original 688 attack sub for the uh, PC. I still have one sitting here. And so you could get a floppy disk and stick it in just like you would a CD, and it would load up a program like Mule, which is really just a, uh, by comparison, it's a very small program, right? But it would take minutes to load. What was worse, on the on the TRS-80, we had a cassette player, and you would type in the command to load, and then you'd hit play on the cassette tape, and you had to be at the right spot on the cassette for the program to at the start of the program. You hit play, and it would start to load this program, and it would have to play through that section of tape until it was loaded, and then you could finally hit stop, and it was excruciatingly slow. When they came out with these, we were so excited because it was just a matter of shoving the disc in the drive, typing load. Most of the time, if it was a single disc like this, you would type load, quote, star, quote, comma, eight, comma, one, and then, boom, it would start to load up. Once it was loaded, you typed, I think it was run, and then the game would start. And then it would continue to load if it needed to, like this one was. And then you get to this screen. But it still, it took a long time for it to happen. You were so spoiled to have hard drives. When they came out with the first hard drive with the Amiga, it was amazing. All right, so, well, you want to do beginner? Okay. For those tuning in, Abby and I are going to be playing Mule. I don't know how many hours I spent playing Mule in my childhood um, with my friend Steven. But we played many, many games of Mule, and it, we loved it. It was a, it was a really fun game. Oh, hang on. Why is F5 not working to change Planeteers? Maybe because I'm not. Oh, I know why. Uh, Counter 64 emulator wasn't. There we go. Two Planeteers. We're gonna start on beginning, and so there's gonna be different points in the game. Uh, the first phase is uh, your plot allocation. Everyone gets one plot per turn to develop. So there's going to be a, a planetary screen and there's going to be a little square that goes along. And you're going to want to grab one plot by hitting your fire button. Um, usually what you want to shoot for first is uh, a river plot for food, because you're going to need food throughout the game and the river will produce your most amount of food. The next plot you're going to want on your second round is probably a bear um, plot that you can put up an energy uh, dish to get uh, solar energy so you can power your mules. And your mules are the things that um, actually do all the work for you. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to outfit a mule and for whatever role you want to play, whether it's agriculture, energy, or mining. Okay, and then you're going to bring it out to your plot, put it into its little workhouse, and then come back. So, 
I'm hoping I'm going to be first so that I can show you how the round goes. Otherwise, we might have to restart the game for you. Just if you, if you totally mess up the first round. Okay. But anyway, let's go on. We're going to get to choose. Actually, if you watch, these are the players that you can choose as your character as they come across the screen. They actually had quite a, a good number of. Uh, yeah, good number of players you could choose. Alright, F7. Wait, how come it... I don't know why I keep losing... F7, each planeteer, press your joystick button or keyboard button to go on. Okay, so let me press first. Okay, joystick. And you press your joystick button. Yep. Color choice, okay. So it's going to cycle through colors. And you can pick whichever color. Let me know what color you want, and I won't choose it. Okay, I'm blue. And now you get to pick your screen, your your guy, right? So if you see how I'm using the two buttons to get to the side. So this is the Mechtron. It's the computer opponent. Um, you don't get to pick that one. The upper one is the Golmer um, from the Neck. Neckite Galaxy. Gomers love land. To get it, they will stick their uh, neck out. They love it. Um, the Packer from the Silicon System. They love food and make excellent farmers when they don't gobble their crop. The Spheroid from the Roldo System. Spheroids are well-rounded pioneers that hate square corners and straight lines. I have no idea what their advantage is. All right, this guy's a farmer. This guy will get you more land. I don't remember what that guy does uh, for you. Humanoid, that's the expert species, and uh, they get a $400 less because they're too smart. Um, the Legite from the Afghani uh, plains. Legites have their feet on the ground, heads in the clouds, and legs everywhere. Again, I'm not sure what bonus they have. The Flapper from the board. Uh, drop gal galaxy. Uh, all flappers receive an extra 600 in their nest egg, so you get extra money to start off, which is kind of nice. Um, and then the Bonzoid from the Armful Galaxy. Bonzoids love climbing and are often found hanging around in mountains. I don't know if they maybe they don't get the slowdown penalty. When you run through mountains in the game, when you're trying to install your mule, you're going to end up slowing down. So I don't know if they don't get that. Um, so maybe to give you an advantage, I will pick Humanoid. So I get uh, less money. So whichever, whenever it lands on the color you want, select it, and then you can select the character that you want. Okay, we selected beginner, a game with uh, two planeteers, so we're going to be playing against two uh, computer players. Um, and press your button to go on. Beep. And here we go, we're landing on the planet Arata. I don't know. I don't remember what the game told you. I don't think I was a ever able to find Mule in the store. A friend had it. And this is the uh, see that this this is the indicator for the drive running to load up the game. So you sat there and you waited. We we did a lot of waiting while playing games in our youth. I think I can. Oh no. 
I, I think I could probably turn on some feature to make it speed load, but it, sometimes it destabilizes the game, so. And, I mean, what better way to appreciate new games than to see old games that don't look anything like new games load slowly. I don't know. I think it's just an arbitrary number. It might be the uh, byte rate, I don't know, or the sector on the disk that it's counting. People online can't see it. They don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no time for coffee now. The ship is landing. So that's the store in the middle. And every round they're going to give us this little uh, kind of rank. Who's first, who's last. I'm last. I get. I, I only get 600. Man. I don't know if I should have done this. Alright, so once you've seen what you want to see, you press your button. And we're going to start. So again, you're going to want to try and hit that river, river plot on your first go. Like that. Okay. So the computer is going straight for the mountains. Now that's the the mountains is where you mine the smith ore, and that's probably the most valuable thing. You you you're gonna want to get into smith ore eventually. Oh, they're grabbing both good mountain spots. Rotten computers. Well, this is a good chance for us to starve them out of food. Ah, computer got something bad. So every round you get sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. They broke into your storage shed and stole food, energy, half your food. Uh, computer's already got less food. So if you don't have enough food, um, you actually end up um, with less time to do stuff on your turn. Computer didn't get this computer opponent didn't get anything good or bad, so he's gonna go to straight to mining. See those lots give you four smith ore, which is really good. They're the only two spots that do. Oh, you got something good. You found a dead moose rat and sold the hide for fifty bucks. Three fifty dollars for you. Okay, so now, when you hit your button, it's gonna bring you into this. You're gonna want to grab a mule, put it into the food, and then bring it out. And when you get it over top of the um, shed, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to come back over top of the shed too. If you're too far away from the shed, when you go to install your mule, he'll run away on you. So you're gonna drag your mule up so that he's over the shed and then come back over the shed hit your uh, your joystick button no no you have to make sure you go back to the shed because if he's he's at the shed right here's the shed and you bring your mule here but he's going to be following behind you a little bit so when he's over the top of the shed you're going to have to come back and then click your button because i've had it where i was too far away and the mule ran away So there's where you get your mule, and then this is food, energy, and mining. Now come back down out of there, and then exit to the side. Come up there. See how he follows you from a little bit of a distance? All right, now come back in, come back in, and then go to the pub. And all the way in. <laughs> yeah, but if you end up with two plots of land, it's not. Nothing good for me, the human who starts with less money. Yeah, that's that bar along the side. 
So see how I'm getting the mule over and then coming back? And you can enter the uh, the building from the top, bottom, any or, or either side. Yeah. So here's production phase. Oh, <gasps> oh yes! This is amazing. Okay, so the good thing about the this right, the store usually has stock on energy and food. Um, this will make if we have any surplus, it'll make it really valuable because they're going to want food. They, they didn't get into food. They're going to probably the next turn, they're both going to switch over to food on their mining plots. Anyway, so here we're going to enter the auction phase now. With the auction phase, you can declare yourself as a buyer or a seller. They produce two or four each. Store has no units of anything. And they're going to sell it probably for 50 each. Or they'll keep it and hope to uh, sell it for more next turn because it does go up if the, if the store doesn't have any units. No, nope, they're desperate for money. Kooky computers? Yeah, it'll it'll probably time out a little faster when nobody's selling. All right. So now we move on to food. So we had some to start. We used some. There was some spoilage. And then we produced some. Now, this, the store has... We need um, three. So, here's the fun thing. He's going to want food. He's going to want two food. <clears throat> now... We have the uh, excess, so we're going to be fighting for selling it to them. Um, whatever, I don't care so much about the money. The thing is, you don't want to sell it to the store. You want the store price to go way up. And he's going to start coming up. And you're going to let him come up. Watch what happens. Because the this, this store has no stock. Right, and he, he wants two. So it's going to depend on how badly he wants two food. So he's starting to run up. Now, the store would be at 50. He might go up further, he might not. So we have a choice of either starving him. Uh, he'll have less time to do stuff. He might not get his turn finished. Or you can sell two, two of them at 50 if you want the money. Yeah, so it'll be 50 each. He'll only buy two. So if you want to sell, go down. Until you get to the line. Okay, I'll sell one too. I can use the cash because I started with so much less. <clears throat> well, he'll, he'll have less time to complete his turn. It's not as big a deal, but energy is. When there isn't enough energy your mules don't produce as much. So energy shortage is, is bad, and you always need more energy at the further into the game you go. Store has no units. I, no, no, nobody's going to buy, but uh, I'm not going to sell mine. You actually, cause just go down to... Yeah, because you're going to need an energy when you for your next plot, right? You're always going to have one more plot each round, and you need to kind of think about that. Because I don't think the game actually tells you you need this much thinking about your, your future mule. So you pulled into second place, and I'm still <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright. Well, they sold them all, right? Alright, so. Um, before you hit your button, you might want to think about, do you want energy? Because you're going to need energy for your mules. Or do you want to try and nab one of those food plots? I'm not sure what I want to do. Yeah, I, I think I probably have to. I'm tempted to put an energy uh, thing on on a river, just so I can have the river for later. Now, uh, you no, know it won't. Um, a flat spot gives you three, up to three, which can fluctuate depending on different events in the game. Uh, I think the river gives you two, and I think the mountains give you like one. It, the mountains, I think, are the worst for energy. Um, one thing to keep in mind, every once in a while there's a land auction that comes up where we can uh, try and bid for a, a plot of land that comes up for sale. So keep in mind that, you know, depending on how much money you have, you might want to try and get that plot. I don't really have enough. I, I, I just have enough for my mule and stuff right now until I get going, so... But if a, if a land plot comes up and you can grab it, it'd be a pretty good bonus for you. Alright, land grant. So you're going to want a, probably a flat chunk of land. Oh, to river or not to river. I'm doing it. It's probably a horrible idea. Well, that is the... Oh yeah, if we just... I'll click. So that, yeah, that is the next step, right? Energy. Alright, now it's you. So now you're going to want to stick them in the uh, satellite energy one. Be the computer. No surprise there. Ah, oh, something good. What is it? Your off-world investments in artificial dumbness paid 150 in dividends. Nice. I'm investing in artificial stupidity. <laughs> somehow, somehow in this day and age, I don't know if we really need to invest in something like that. Okay. Um, I think I am going to put energy onto that spot. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can go out, pick up your mule from the shed. And then bring them back and re-outfit them with what you want to put in. Let's uh, see, that's that's two bars of energy. That's not too bad. So my next goal is to try and get that last river river plot. Oh no, mining production half of normal. Sucks to be a computer. Yeah. No, see, they only got two out of four. All right. 
These guys are probably going to sell. Blah, blah, blah. Store has no units. Now we wait for the computer. What a great time to have a sip of cold, refreshing, cold coffee. With just a splash of mm, stroke waffle. <laughs> I wonder if they had that in the States. All right. Food. We used some, some spoiled. We grew some. The computers have none. And see how the store price has gone from 15 now to 39? Why? Because as the store has no units and it becomes more in demand, the price goes up. So technically, if we keep starving the computers of food, we might actually be able to make some money off of food. So right now, they're going to come up. No, no, the, the price was at 15 here. And then at the top of the screen, it's usually at about 50. But see, now they're at 74. Come on, come a little higher. See, the problem with food is it's not as needful as energy. One, two three. I've sold what I can. Sometimes if you wait a little, like, right towards the end, they'll start running up, and then you can really make some good money. But energy is usually the thing for that. I bet you I'm going to need some. Oh no, I have two spare. Okay. Everybody's got some surplus. They're probably going to sell to the store because they're jerks and they don't know how to work the system. Now, one thing you can do, which is a lot of fun, is buy all the energy off of them at 10 each. One, two, uh -huh. one, two, So, now the store still has no units. And I have them all. No, sorry. You weren't quite up to the line. And once I start buying, it'll just sell to me automatically. I do have less money. But it was only 10, 10 per. You are at the top. Nice. And I'm not at the bottom. Yay! Okay. See, I have some goods. I have goods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my mule around probably to food. Because I have all that extra energy that they just sold me. Alright. Go for one with the most mountains. Oh, they're all two now, I guess. Oh, everyone's going for the river. Oh, no, no. He's not, he's not going for the river either. Interesting. I'm going to be the only food player here. Uh-oh, something bad happened to you. One of your mules lost a bolt. Repairs cost you 75. That's not too bad. There's one where, well, I'm not going to tell you because I'm hoping it'll happen at some point because it's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, the food game might kill me. I, I should really have diversified into mining by now. 
I think mining t costs more energy, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, computer got something good. Woo. A charity from your homeworld took pity on you computer. and sent $75. That's rigged. Computer. Computer should never get... He's going food out there. Oh, he's going food everywhere. He's not going to have ener any energy. Ho, 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 ho. All right. Um... Yeah, I might. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with this guy with food. Because that'll give me some spare food. The computer always does that. They overreact. If there's a shortage of something, they go nuts on it one round, and then they're, they're, they end up being short on something else. I'm so smart. Why am I only making $94 in gambling? Food. Food. Oh, no. Mining. Really? You're the only one with a full energy bar. Next year, next time I'm going energy. Oh, oh, nice. Extra energy for all who have energy. <laughs> which, which is not the computer. I. Yes. Actually, look, I got more than double. I got five. You got six. How did this guy manage to make three food both in two food things? Where I have prime food and I only made four. No. No. Yeah, you have some. You can make some. Sure. No sense letting it spoil. The store will not come up. The store is very linear. They stay where they are. And I'll just sit here watching you guys sell. I could have bought it all. Oh, I couldn't have. I don't have enough money for that. Well, well, I do. It would have left me pretty broke, though. It's just like World of Warcraft, playing the auction house game again. Okay, so the downside is now the computer has lots of food. Yeah, but the other one is... That's probably a good idea. It's going to be hard to run the store up, though. Uh, silly computers. Why? Alright. Wait, he's not? Really? Oh, now he's coming down. I just don't want him to, to, to sell to the store. So I want to see the store price go up more. He's not. Interesting. This is going to suck if I get too much spoilage.
you know what? Part of me really just wants to starve the computer of energy. Should we? And make them... No, we're going to make them pay, though. So this is this is really what you want to see. Um, hit your mouse button there, and it'll get us into the sell phase faster. Yeah, we're going to sell. Now, watch them come. Don't sell to them early, because they really need it. Oh no no, let them keep coming. I'm not selling energy at 45. They can they can produce nothing for all I care. Really? You're going to stay at 45. You need energy, guys. <laughs> I have not seen that before. Usually they start going nuts. I'm... I was really counting on that to make some money. <laughs> Alright. Energy? Yeah. I need to... Okay. I'm gonna go for energy too, I think. Although I should start getting some plots for... I do have a lot of energy. Maybe I should get a smith or a plot. Or else I'm going to get way behind. Yeah. Nothing for you. If you avoid the mountains, you'll go faster. I don't know, I was wondering that myself. Why is there a black spot there? Nothing for me. I have tons of food. Ooh, 206 gambling, that's pretty good. I'll take it. Nothing good for the computer. Energy. <laughs> really? Energy. Oh, one energy. Oh. That's bizarre. <gasps> Meteor strike! No. See, when you're playing advanced, I think that is the... There's another mineral you can mine. And, um... I think that drops a, a higher amount. I might try for that, though. I might try and get that for Smithor next time. See, they produced nothing. Because they had no energy. <laughs> and that's what happens when you energy starve your opponent. Yeah. I'm surprised the store price hasn't actually come up yet. Usually it fluctuates, comes up to 57. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not sure what dictates their food usage. I thought we were at three. Maybe it gets better or more. Need more later in the game. <clears throat> See how desperate they are, but I bet they won't come up higher than what the store would have sold it for. No, 81, apparently. Come on, come up higher. with a try. Energy. They actually produce some. Did they produce enough? How much do they need? They need one each still. This is definitely an interesting game with the, the fire so early in the store and everyone getting started. Let them come up though. See if, see if they actually come all the way up and drive the price way up. Come on. You want that energy. You didn't produce any Smith or last ground. Still aren't coming up. No, it's 45 or bust. <laughs> okay, well, they're, they're going to be running out of, out of, oh. <laughs> Not because of goods. Oh, your land is worth a little bit more than mine. More mining? That's probably a good idea. I I think I need to go for energy. Although they haven't been going up for energy. I, I thought this would be a good energy heavy game, but I think I still might need to. I've been lucky the last couple turns with that energy. Oh no, I was gonna go for this one. Or are you gonna go for that one? But I'll they will find out if that asteroid does anything for smith or oh no well, i'll get this one down here or that one they're both good all right Still had a pretty good amount of energy, I think, if I remember right. I think next turn I'm going to be forced into energy. That's only two. No, I think I think the meteorite is important for. There's a one that comes up in this section here in the uh, more advanced games. I forget what it's called. It starts with an A, though. Might be adamantine. Yeah, some mineral. <laughs> it's more. It's much more valuable than um, smith ore. Ah, oh, boo. Your mule won the colony tap 
dancing contest. You collect $200? Come on. Computers, I tell you, they just don't play fair. Always going back into mining. Full speed into mining with hardly any... Hey, turtle! <laughs> oh. E1-100. Another computer gets the best things. Look at that. <gasps> A tie ran out! Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't get everything done. He didn't get to get his free gambling money. Oh no! They're going to have mines that won't produce because they didn't have enough energy. And they've gone out of energy. Computer is playing a horrible game. How's it going, Turtle? The store never has units of smith ore. It, it's just something that to make money. You sell it. You make some money. And generally, if you go heavy into smith ore, you can do fairly well and generally win the game. But I don't know. It's not working out so good for the computer. Although that guy's up there pretty good. It's up to 13 again. We'll see. The one computer ran out of time, so he might want food. <laughs> now the, the store is at 65. Just enough to sell the All right. Maybe starve? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. See, see if they come up. If they come up for... I'm willing to sell at a high price. One guy only needs one, but the other guy... Hey, only cats! <coughs> Is it worth a hundred? I think it might be. I'm gonna sell. Oh, you only bought two. <laughs> I did too. I had to show Abby games of yesteryear. Oh my. Only five <laughs> energy. I have I have just enough. And they have none. Oh boy. Okay, hit your uh your joystick button. Yeah. I want to sell some spare. <laughs> she probably could. I think, I wonder if someone did this in Scratch. Oh, come on. Only 47? Only 47? Come on, computers. Um... I think 50. <clears throat> Actually, it might be, I think it's at 50, or at 45 for energy. Got any energy from 
they are not going to have any. Kong has a shortage of energy. Really. Who knew? They also kind of have a shortage of food, but... Uh, this might force the price of energy up. They'll probably, they're probably going to switch over to energy because they're computers. Okay, now I just want to... I need to get some energy. Haha. <laughs> If you have enough, I would grab that one for mining. Yeah. You had nine to spare. You're good. Ah, oh. thanks a lot, computer. The solar collector collectors on your <laughs> energy mules. Are dirty. Cleaning cost you fifty bucks each. Uh I only have two. Or, no. One. <laughs> I'll take it. That's not so bad. Me. Yeah. I might. Does he go slow over mountains? Oh, maybe not. Do you remember what you were going to do? I do slow down over mountains. Yeah, you do. A little bit. Let's see there. This guy's going to switch over one of his to energy, too. That's my guess. Ah, The colony council for agriculture awarded you $100 for each food plot, of which you only have one, and couldn't be bothered to get a, a river spot. Mm-hmm. He has a food shortage. He doesn't have so much time. He can only put one dish up. Wait, the ship is back. Already? This is the this is the last round. No, how can that be? Oh, <laughs> Is the beginning... is beginner only six rounds? I thought it was twelve rounds. Oh, uh, maybe that's the difference with beginner. We should have did normal. Alright. Because <laughs> usually all the plots of land are distributed. Yeah, you have 12. Yeah. See, they were energy starved. They didn't make anything. If you hold your thing down, it'll sell faster. Yeah.
The only thing I can, the only thing I can't remember if it was better to keep your goods at the end or not. Yeah, we're getting a little snow today. It's kind of a mix. It's it's just cold enough to be snow and rain and slush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does cheapers like the uh, snow? Oh, she doesn't mind the snow. The younger chickens are more energetic. She's not a young chicken. Now, there's 103. I don't think they're going to buy because it's the last round, but I might sell at the store price. See, again, I don't remember what is better goods or like if if the goods count for more yeah it's been pretty breezy here today uh only cats we, we went into town my dad had an eye appointment and uh i would have worked on the boats but it was kind of cold and miserable I wouldn't bother selling this. Um, I don't know if the good value of energy is, is better. See, he's not going to sell either. He's just up there. Oh, really? Oh, I thought you said you had played it in your youth. I could I could see that happening. This is an old Commodore 64 game called Mule. And it was it was a lot of fun as a multiplayer game. Everyone could uh <laughs> Everyone played as a colonist and you had to Oh, we beat the computers bad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> did you hear me at the beginning of the stream? I did say that at the beginning of the stream. Ha <laughs> Okay, so. It only has a shortage of food. And technically, we did have a shortage of energy. Okay, I don't, I think, I don't think anything else actually happens after this. Press your button. Yeah, so this is actually the end. Is that your polite way of saying I'm old only cats? <laughs> yeah, there there are different outcomes, and if you, if the whole colony does really well, they'll congratulate you. Um, sometimes they'll they'll. Actually, in a regular game, they'll they'll say so and so was the founder of the colony because they did so well. Like, you're not that far behind me, really. Okay, so do you want to try again now that you know, and we'll try it at a higher level. Okay, so what was it? Uh, F three. Okay, so we want. Really, isn't there an advanced? Interesting. Um, tournament might be the one. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll try standard next, because one of them has the um, the different mineral that you can mine. And I thought this was it. Yeah, this, the, this was a lot of, this was a game that I played with my buddy in uh, grade school multiple times. Oh, wait. We don't get to change, oh. Oh, I get to play as a human again? 
Okay, I guess. Just have to play smarter. So, yeah, okay, th this is a regular game where you actually have 12 months instead of 6. It <laughs> sucked into the Pokemon world. Yeah, that was way before my time. I mean, way after my time. That's okay. You all have a chance at it. And yeah, you have two chances at it. Oh! <gasps> okay, so beginner... Beginner, the plots go slow. <laughs> okay? You have to remember that. It's a little bit faster in, in this one. Okay, so... You have more money than I do. You might be able to beat the computers out for this land. I, I think I'm going to have to give up because I have to have enough money for a mule, which is 100. Oh, yeah. So here's how the auction works. You can run up. Let's see the bid starts at 160. There's your current bid. And at some point, the computers are going to say, oh, that's too expensive for me. Well, because everyone's running up at the same speed. So you can take that at 428. Keep going up a little bit higher. Force him up. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's backing down! He's backing down! Take it from him. <laughs> oh! He wanted it, but he wasn't going to pay any more than he had to. Interesting. Uh, and something bad happened to him. I hope it's cost him a, a lot of money. Oh, uh, it's just the Galactic Elves. Food storage. Rate his food. Maybe he won't have enough. He just invested totally in food. Why wouldn't he go for the river plot? I computer is just so mind-boggling. <laughs> That's what I wanted. You should you should go for that. Maybe it's smoke. Maybe it's smoke deal. Fun fact about Abby: when we visited Holland, she loved smoked eel. And the fish vendors loved her because they loved seeing this cute little six-year-old girl walk up and say, Ain grote appalling, as du blieft. Your antique personal computer for $200. Smoked rattlesnake. Well, that would be interesting. Is it is it a drier like is it does it come out like jerky or does it stay fairly moist? Um, probably. Remember, it only really affects your time, not your production. Tastes like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Nothing called Rattlesnake Roundup. Huh. I don't know. I've never seen Rattlesnake as an option here in Canada. We have some um, a variety of mystery meats at the at the local grocery store. They get different pepperettes. Okay, see, tournament doesn't tournament includes the last one with the uh, yeah, this one, this one, there's a land thing, and I think you can sell land or something. If you need to. No. No, I slow down. I, I I try to to skirt the river as much as possible. Yeah, our our local grocery store has. Oh, that's a horrible time for you to get in mining. Um, has different pepperettes with like kangaroo or elk and various other things. It's 57. See, now this, this starts to vary a little bit. 
and the store has eight units. Well, nobody ever buys them, but it might limit the sale. Oh! <gasps> if you, if you want, you can hit your button and it'll go back to like if we both hit our joystick button okay. at that one screen when it tells you how much you make it'll go to the auction part faster where you choose to buy or sell but don't push down if you want to sell don't push down before mm -hmm. this is going to be interesting food now see the store will have so many units uh yeah So hit your hit your butt must button there and it'll it'll lock us in. And you know what? The computer's gonna come down and sell it to you cheaper. Just go up to the store, up, go up, go up, go up. Before they sell it to the store, go up, go, go, go up, go up. It's too late. Oh. Well you got one. So you'd be one short. Oh you can. But I mean, you could have got them at fifteen each if you if you sat at the store level at the bottom. Yeah, if you go up to the store level at the bottom, and they're selling, because they got that extra plot. We're all short. Oh no! And that guy's short three. Store has eight units. Okay, the store has enough to supply us all. But we're gonna hit an energy shortage soon if people don't go into energy. Unless the computer buys it all. They might. Buy it. Buy it all. No, oh, too late. See, he bought the last of it. So next turn, there's gonna be an energy shortage. <laughs> hey, turtle. Yeah. You are. Well, you... That's me, It is. It probably is the goods that you have sitting in your... in your inventory. Antique computer. It's a good thing you had that antique computer. An old Nintendo system. Nobody paid two hundred dollars for a Nintendo. I think they're all gonna go energy because energy's needed. Good job. Land for sale. Oh, come on. Yeah, hit your button. Except now I, oh no, I don't have it. I don't have hardly any money. Oh, wait, 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 come back down, come back down. Come back down one more, there you go. That's the cheapest you can get it for, which is a good deal for an extra plot of land. If, if I could afford the mule for it and the plot I just bought, well, I, I would, if I were you, put, put the energy out, because food, you have a food shortage, though, so you might run out of time, but your one plot's really close to the store for food, and you're not really that short on time. I think you'll have lots of time to do it, as long as you don't run through the mountains too much. Ooh, there you go. Uh, it's going to be tight. You're going to lose him if he's not installed. So just get him in there. Alright. Yeah, you won't get into the pub, but that's okay. The, the main thing is you didn't really want to lose that second mule. That costs you a fair bit. And then you don't get the production either. Computer. He's going en energy on both. We won't have an energy shortage to milk for very long. Uh, 
I don't even want to see what good thing happened to the computer. Although I have, I should remember that there are people watching and they might want to see it. Oh, the colony council. Oh, one plot. They're gonna give me fifty bucks. Why couldn't that have happened to me last game when I had two plots? Alright. Toll granted is 50. Thank you. I appreciate it. What was I getting? Energy, right? Okay. Next round will be everyone going for Smith or Mines. All the big... It might have gone up this time. Who knows? Oh, food out. Energy reduced. Oh. Oh well. It couldn't have happened at a better time because the computer just went all energy on the one, one guy. But we might end up with some energy issues. One energy, two energy. Yeah, no kidding. Some that computer cheats. Alright, how much did you produce? One? Two? Oh, nice. That's at 57. Store has no units. Good time to make some money. Oh, wait! I was close. Yeah, we got extra. Three shortage. Store has 10 units. <clears throat> mm, I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, he's going to sell it. Computers be friends. You want to sell it to him? Go down to the 50 line. If he comes up, you... No, no. I would I would stay at 50. Make him come up for it. See, I think in normal game, the computers are a little bit more... Um, exploitable. Look at that, only three. Ugh. This guy has eight. If I buy it all from him. But I would have gone this high. No, I wouldn't have. So now the computer should think that everything is fine with energy. Don't need to, to focus on energy as much. But I have all of it. And I'm at the bottom. Oh my. Apparently my goods aren't... Oh yeah, 
See, that's the thing. You guys have gotten extra land. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going for... Oh no, I was going to look. Which one is the big... Yeah, sure. Gets that one is good. One of the better ones. Yeah. I... Oh. Why don't I have any money? I can't. I can't afford it. No, neither can you. Get get down. You won't be able to buy a mule. Ooh. So wanted that land. Well. Energy is probably a pretty decent investment right now. I mean, if you if you do smith or you'll still get some. You'll get a a one one dot smith or plot. Remember, the the store has no energy, so if you are short, you can't get it from the store. You're gonna basically have to rely on on players. And I don't know if this guy's gonna keep all of his energy. Right? He's got no food. I think you can sell land. I don't know. Either that or you can get a... It might. I want to see what this brown guy does. That'll probably determine what I do with... He's going back to food there. Smithor, oh, Smithor, oh yeah, it was a, it was a good time to go into energy with your other plot. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna regret that. See the mule, the mules are starting to get uh, a little, little bit of a shortage on mules, and their price is going up. I don't know if we've ever run out. I can't remember. Well, you can't put mules out. You won't be able to produce on there. See, in the in the tournament, there's an assay which lets you know what the at what concentration the uh, the new mineral is on a certain plot of land. <gasps> well, that's a good question. You should have had at least two. It is still, it's still just an estimate, right? Like, it's not a guarantee. Yeah. And I think with beginner, with the beginner level, <laughs> broke the game. <laughs> nice. Um, and the beginner level, it's it stays more consistent with the approximate value of the land. Smith, or if you don't need the money. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have enough for a second mule, and I'll never get another plot of land at this rate, but... But the, the Smith or should come up. 
And good news for food and energy growers. The store has none. Oh, but he produced some. So there's only one that's needed. I'm not going to sell mine. Hit your button. There we go. See if I can drive them up. Oh, see now, see this is the kind of thing I was expecting from the computer. And apparently, in beginner, they don't do that. But standard game, they they, they will run. Oh yeah, this is where I'm hoping to make my money. That guy has none. It's good to keep some spare sometimes. Okay, hit your mouse button. There you go. Run! Run! You can't. No, I'm not gonna. There's none from the store. Don't don't buy energy at a crazy price. I'm gonna bankrupt the computer. Keep coming, boys. Keep coming. 96, is that as high as you're going to go? All right. One, two, three, four, five. He's not going to. And now the balance of power is changed. Yeah. Well, I think your goods, right? The, you've, you've got a fair bit of smith ore saved up, so your goods are your goods total is up a bit, and you have good land. This time there won't be an auction, I bet. Come on, auction! <sighs> what do I want? Energy or? Oh yeah, you did. Nice. <laughs> yes, that's what you have to get used to. Is like, why? I have money now. Oh, because you get to go first. See, as, as players put mules out, the, the store stock goes down, and maybe it becomes more valuable. See that? Aww. I would never do that. Betting on the two-legged Kazinga races. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet two hundred dollars on that. Come on, I'm too cheap for that. Okay, so I did sell all my energy. That was probably not smart. I was gonna go for energy again. Yeah, well, I got the I got the Smithor plot, so I'm gonna go for it. But I probably should have stayed in energy. It doesn't work that way. I can't just you can't just trade me energy around the computer. It's all on an auction system. Set the computer. Smithor, Smithor. Only one energy. Let's see what the other guy does. 
Is he gonna go all energy? Cause he got no. Oh my. Yes, you do. You're gonna make it like a bandit, I think. Produce an extra one. Come on, produce an extra one. Oh. Are you green? Yes, you are. Oh, he's gonna steal all your food. Sorry. Yeah. The pest is awful. He, he steals everything. On both of them? No. Just on the one plot. Yeah. The good news is you have food for you. I don't know if food is going to be a huge seller in this one, but we'll see. Why? Hello, computer. Uh, probably 50. I don't know if it's going to go. No? Okay. I need the money, so... If a plot comes up if a plot comes up for sale, I really want to grab it because I'm low on land compared to everyone else. You got an extra plot once. Computer got an extra plot once, I just me and the other computer. Plus I gotta stay ahead of the computer. Yeah, you're going to be playing the energy game, because the store shouldn't have any units. Ooh, the food's gone up, though. Look at that, 61. Base price. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Uh, the other computer has one. Hit your butt button. Yeah. Yeah, the computer's gonna sell sell one to him. I'll let you sell yours. I did good on Smithler. Oh wow. 130. And he's still going. Oh my. He's still going. No way. I'll sell. Sell. I'll sell you one. No. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal, though. Yeah. Energy might be just as bad. Because I don't think they produced any. They're nuts. And I... I'm... Oh. Okay, you're gonna... You're gonna make out like a bandit in this, uh, in this one. I've almost caught... Yeah, you're gonna. You're probably gonna shoot past me on this. Wow, I wish I'd put that other one into energy. And here they come. Sky's the limit. Really? Apparently, there is a limit to how much they'll sell. They buy energy for. Wow. Yeah, that's going to tell us too. The colony has a shortage of energy. I don't know if it'll count sh food as a shortage yet. No. So now is where the computer's gonna go nuts on energy, probably. <laughs> I just did what I said I wasn't gonna do. Can't believe I did that. I'm going to be short on energy. 
I might have to put energy up in my mountain range. It, it, it'll it'll be yeah. I won't make as much, but I know it's it's not the way. It's like solar panels, I think. Not that they had solar panels back in the eighties. I don't. Ah, uh, maybe cheap ones on calculators. I'm trying to think of when they came out. So if you still have lots of energy, I would shoot for that one next turn. Everyone, everyone might be shooting for it. The only one left with mountain ranges in it. If you want to go full on uh, mining, because the only thing that's going to be left is energy. That one there. But if you, like when you go to get it, just hold your button down, because if the computer beats you to it, at least you'll get one of these two plots. I'm going to get a, an energy plot early on, I think. I don't really care. Okay. I'm banking on the computer going nuts on um, energy because there's a shortage. And then I'm going to buy it from the computer, I guess, if I need to. I don't know. It's probably a bad idea. I don't know. Let's see what the computer does. Oh, food shortage. Energy, energy. The other one will probably do that too. Energy, energy. Oh, three energies! There yeah. You go. See, the computer always overreacts. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Well, that's not good. Did you? Oh yeah, that's right. They didn't really come up that much, did they? Wait, that's it? Well, I always thought when something like that happened that the food production went like crazy and you'd usually get like all eight units, but maybe, maybe my memory isn't as good as it used to be. There we go. I'm tied with the computer. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Waiting for pirates to come. Yes. Just hold your down button and it'll sell faster when you go to sell. Wow. Well, we might still be able to milk the food production a little bit. The food to the store is really expensive, and the computer can't sell to the store. Right? The other computer will buy it before it goes to the store, so we might be able to make some good money off of food yet. Yeah, let them come up. The computer's going to sell them one. You'll probably be able to sell them one more at a really good price.
Well, maybe you won't come higher than that. Still. <laughs> that is pretty good. He's down to 300 bucks. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, this is not going to be good. Two. Okay, everyone's got surplus. I'm safe! Unless they decide to starve me. I would. Definitely keep it. Get your button. There. Yes, he is. Oh, come on. Computer always comes down. I don't know. Two, three. Ouch. I think you have. Wow. Yes. You're a full fifteen hundred ahead of me. up ahead of the computer by about 700. That's not good. I'm gonna have to start pulling my... It's true. Alright. Are you going for that mining sp spot? I got the first lot. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, you're, you're good. As long as you can get that spot timing. There you go. Ooh. Wonder if I can get this spot. Computer's not gonna go up that high. Is he? Is he? Ow. Uh oh. Something wrong. Oh, that's not. You only have two. Yeah. Hundred dollars, you can afford that. Nothing good, nothing bad. I'm hoping because there isn't an energy shortage so that computers all go back to Smither. Uh, it's so far away! Well, I was only thinking I was going to get one plot. Come on, outfit faster! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Phew. Oh, wow! I was like, I gotta take a risk. 
I gotta take a risk. I don't have time to go past and come back. Oh no. Rats. I don't know why that guy's producing energy on his mountain. No! Oh, must attack on my food. I think I saved from some from last turn, so I don't need as much. If I buy a plot close to the store, I won't even need to get worry about food. I think. Oh. Ooh, Smithers down. 22. It's 48 units. As the pirates don't come and steal all of it. I don't know if they steal it just from the store or from everyone. Food, I had six. I used four. Produced none. 131. Wow. You do have all the food. Oh, you can make a killing. Charge the computer slots. I'm just going to risk the running out of time. Get your button. I'll try and run them up for you. Yeah, let me see if we can run them up higher. We still got lots of time on the clock. Oh. Okay, there you go. 2.52. Yeah, that's... That's a good price. Well, the energy game is over. He's going to sell it to the store. And I'm not buying it at 42 each. So. This guy's just going to go down. Might as well sell a few while they're still valuable. Uh oh, he's not going to sell to the store. Okay. Hey, Russell! How are you today? Yeah, I got to try and do a shout out here. There we go. Oh, have you? Oh, well, thanks, buddy. I 
figured it was time for a uh, old school stream. With uh, I've been wanting to uh, show Abby an old game I used to play called Mule on the Commodore 64. It's always lots of fun. At least I used to think it was fun back then. Are you enjoying the game? She says she's enjoying it, so... Yeah, I think all that's left are flat spots for energy, so everyone gets energy spots, or you can mine on it. Oh! Oh no! I missed it! Oh well. Yeah, it was snowing a bit ago. It's been a kind of sloppy snow kind of day. It's it's just at the freezing mark, so we've had slushy snow. It's not staying on the ground though, so I'm I'm okay with that. I think you're gonna get it. Nobody's gonna go past. It starts. You gotta go up a little bit higher until it's flat. There you go. That one couldn't afford it. The other one was just playing it safe. Oh. My first computer was a TRS-80. And uh, it was interesting. And my, and my buddy had a Commodore 64, and I begged and begged and begged my parents for a Commodore 64. And I tell you, the Commodore 64 years were really good years. I, there were so many good games for the Commodore 64. And then the Amiga came out, and I got an Amiga, and it made me so sad when Commodore stopped making computers, because the Amiga was so ahead of its time. <gasps> oh, I wish I... You know, I think I ended up selling my Commodore 64, and it was probably one of the worst decisions I ever made. I think I ended up having to sell my Amiga just to make some money when I was in uh, university. So I'm I'm thankful for the emulators to be able to play the games of old. Good job. Maybe your guy runs a little faster. My guy doesn't seem to run that fast. Hey Russell, did you end up playing Mule on the Commodore? Did you have that one? He's switching to food. He didn't even throw me on the Interesting. Like I say, the, the the computers tend to overreact. I've got three energy. I think I'm gonna go with uh mining on that one. Oh how much did it decrease my time? Do I have enough? I think so. Oh, I hope so. Oh my. My mule's gonna run away. Oh. Oh no. Only fair. Computer wears wins a hundred dollars. I'm surprised you didn't find my lost mule. No, at least I don't think so. I've never seen it. So throwing energy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, my one screen's covering my commercial notifications. I should definitely have that up. Oh, <gasps> no, the pirates! 
I guess guess we'll find out if it steals they they steal the pirate or the smither from Oh Smithor. Oh no. Good thing I sold it. Good advice. <laughs> Very good advice. I don't think Daddy's coming back from this one. That's all right. The uh, it's been busy. You've definitely had a lot going on, Russell. I don't blame you at all. But thank you for the follow very much. I always appreciate it. Did you end up playing Mule on the uh, Commodore 64? Yes. 142 for food. Now I really wish I had more. Oh. I hope things are going smoothly for you with all the preps. Hang on. For some reason we're... There you go. Yeah, you might as well sell all your food. Now that he's sold to the store, the price is going to go... He can't afford to. We'll put him into the, like... never played this one. Yeah, this one, I played this one so many times with my buddy um, in public school. Used to geek out on some of the uh, the old Archon games and see, Archon was a two-player game we could play and this one wow nobody's making money off of energy anymore. many energy was there? I'm scared. Yeah, I don't think I better. I don't have that kind of money. That's only 11. I could have. I could have bought them out. I should have. If you had a, a, agreed to not uh, not sell. Flight of the Infiltrator. I'm not sure I played that one. I played a lot of the flight sims, like um, F uh, F117, the, the stealth fighter. No, F, I think it was F19 stealth fighter, back before we knew what the stealth fighter really was looked like. And um, uh, Gunship, a lot of the micro pros ones. My turn to win. Yeah, I think you're going to win. I think you're going to win this one pretty easily. I've made some bad choices. Uh, I'm currently using Vice, um, Vice C64 uh, emulator. Yeah. And so far, I've, I've noticed it, it seems to play most stuff uh, pretty decent. Just a. Uh, this is an emulator for Commodore 64. This one will do Commodore 64, uh, VIC-20, and I'm trying to think if it was PET as well in the in the entire Vice um, emulator package. In case you really want to go retro, the good old PET's monochrome display. No, I was kind of hoping for one closer, but well, I'm out of this auction. I think I have 500 bucks. Oh my, you can afford this no problem. You got it. And the computer's not going for it. I'd recommend mining on it. There's two auctions. Oh, cool. 
two auctions. Why? Oh. You can afford both of them. You might not be able to get mules on them all this turn, but land is power. Commodore and Atari retro t-shirt. I have not done... Uh, I was never a big fan of Atari. I had a friend that had Atari, and I, I don't know. Uh, consoles for me were never a big thing. I've always enjoyed the the good old keyboard that you could just do more with the computer. Which one? This one? You can do you can do energy mining on either of them. Yeah. Can't see why not. You you don't have a food shortage at all. I think three will be too many, but I think you can do two no problem, and still make it back to the pub. You got lots of time, but not enough time for a third one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're mining mules? Oh, that was the guy without. Can you imagine if that had happened to the purple guy? 150 each. Yeah. I don't, the I don't, purple guy wouldn't have had enough. He only had just 200. I don't know what would happen if you couldn't pay for the repairs. <laughs> and now he's switching all to mining. Alright, so I want to get... Mining there and mining there. This time I actually want to do it. And <laughs> get my mule in place. Not have it run away with like, like last time. That was horrible. Do I have enough time for the last one? No. Ah. I think so. I think so. Last time I was way lower. Whoa, avoid the mountains! I can't make it back. So I think my guy doesn't get as much time as you. Yeah, definitely tag me as I mentioned in your Discord there, so I so I catch it. I try to check everything regularly, but I've got one Discord channel that kind of pops an awful lot of stuff out. Oh, that's good to hear, Russell. And it's always a tough time, and definitely been thinking of you lots. I know sometimes it's it's a bit of a relief and but it's always a sad time too. No I think it just took out my mule my energy mule. If only we were playing tournament level. And that one too. And that one, and that one, and that one.
I tell you, the computer cheats like crazy. Although I got three out of that one. I try to be interactive in Discord. I, I'm going to tell you though, ahead of time. Um, once things get really busy here, I will probably not be as active in Discord. I'll try and keep on top of it, but uh, our tourist season can be pretty nasty. And usually, I'm I'm working morning till night, and it's pretty exhausting. So. If I disappear a bit off of Discord, it's not because uh, of anything that's happened between us. It'll just be because I'm I'm wiped. And it drove the price up nicely. Wow. 34 units. We had a lot of smith there. How am I using five units of food? What if it I kind of wonder if you need more food the more you've run your timer down. Do we? Go down to the store level, or he's going to buy it all from the store. No, you got to be there when he gets there. No, I don't want to buy your food. Sorry, that's the trick. If you want to sell at that store price, you got to be on the line when he gets there. Or the store will just start automatically selling to him. Well, I had energy. I'm kind of glad I saved it because... Oh, they're four short each. But I think the store has a ton of it. Yeah. We might not see an energy sh uh, shortage again. Not yet. Okay. My own daughter's undercutting me. Two. I don't want to sell that much. Yeah, I know when my grandma was uh, was sick, she had um, Alzheimer's, and it was definitely getting to the point where it was harder to harder to see her not remember people and stuff and she was she was not a happy uh slimer's patient she was kind of one of the she was getting mean so it was definitely more of a relief to see her be released from that and know that she was going to be with her lord and savior you are doing really really well Next time, I'm not going to give you the advantage of me playing the human. <laughs> uh... Yeah, hold it down. Now, there's only two plots for next time, so I don't know if they're going to do land for sale. Oh, they are. They're probably going to auction off both of those. So if you can buy them both, I don't think I can. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. A 
budget from say. He's coming back down. No, no, actually, we gotta keep him up. Fifty. I don't know, Abby. I think I would have grabbed that if I had your money. Oh, so one person will get a plot next turn. That's right. Okay, your turn. I think Mommy was talking about supper coming soon, so we better hurry up. You have lots of energy, and you have lots of food. I would definitely go mining. Definitely seem to be faster on the map. I bet humans get a speed penalty too. Dead moose rat. Dead moose rat. Sold the hide for 150 bucks. Lucky computer. Okay, I need. Something good. Charity from your home world. Right. That's good. <laughs> I need a little bit of pity. 225? Wow, it wasn't that high last time. Okay, so I'm going to try and get a smith or there. Do I have enough energy for two smith or? Maybe. 150 for the mules? Come on! It hurts to not make it back to the pub for free money. Really hurts. Huh. The meal goes crazy. Oh, uh, sorry, Annie. Your your meal went crazy and took off. Let's try and get through these auctions pretty quick. We don't want to get trouble. Oh, wow. oh yeah, that one's producing good for you. Nice. Production computer probably uh, produced us like crazy. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> this is still up at fifty-seven. Wow. 
idea. It'll just depend on whether or not that guy can catch up to you by month 10. Or, sorry, 12. Okay. When the all, all the guys march up. We're getting close. To it. We're getting close. Do you want chicken burgers or something? Sure. Not too hungry. I know, we had I a know. big lunch. Exactly, I know. That sounds delicious. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> I think you might want to switch over some of those energy to, although you have two that aren't producing and using energy, but I'm keeping mine. Yeah, you're going to hit some spoilage there next turn. Yeah, because if you end up putting more uh, mining spots on, you'll need that extra energy, right? Okay, better go put the chickens in for a minute. Are the chicks out too? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, I'll try and switch the indoor cam. Taking a little short chicken break, it's starting to get dark out, or darker, so we try and get the, the chickens in before something comes along, like a fox. Although, we've got everything penned in now. I, I think they'd be okay for a fox. My, my biggest worry is a weasel uh, coming, or maybe a coon climbing the fence. And they shouldn't come until evening, so we try and get them in. I'm going to switch to the uh, the run cam if I can. I was having trouble getting connected uh, this morning or else I would have had the, the chickens up. Are you still there, Russell? There go some chickens. Ball stopping for the camera short for a little brief period there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Crystal. problem. Wait, is that you, Russell? Are you Crystal, Russell? Did you ever play any of the uh, Ultima games on the uh, C64? Oh no, my cam! I have to get my uh, NVR closer to my cams. 
That one indoor cam is, seems to be having some issues connecting. I'll try again. It's weird, it was working just fine when I installed it. And I don't know if today with the, the snow is having an effect on it or what, but... Abby's been. <laughs> yeah, no worries. If your mom likes chickens, I try and stream the chickens during the day. Getting the inside cam again. I think I'm going to try and invest in some IP cams. And then I'll be able to stream them better, get a better connection to them, because uh, all I'm trying to use right now is a, it's a home security uh, camera setup. And I had a couple extra cameras from it. And I thought, well, I'll try and stream the chickens, but it really isn't working optimally. Oh, there we go. It just came back on. But there's no chickens in the run. Oh, and we lost it. I don't know. I'll leave it up and see. Did the chickens all go up into the roost? Yeah. Okay. So I think the uh, the chickens are probably roosting now for the evening. Yeah, if you get chickens, you know, the uh, the hens aren't aren't too much of a hassle. But you do need to do a little bit of. Uh, I would do some research on um, some coop design, right? Make sure you get to find some, do some reading on uh, run run size, coop size, versus the amount of chickens. I don't think you have... well, actually I shouldn't say that. What kind of cats do you have around? Do you have big cats or just house cats? House cats haven't bothered our chickens. If you get full-size chickens, I don't think they'll, they'll have a problem. Boxes are a problem, raccoons are a problem, and possums I don't have here. Although we... I, I'll be honest, I've never had a... Uh, box take the uh, take a chicken I've actually had more problems with uh, we had some neighborhood dogs that uh, were a problem one time <laughs> yes yes cats will catch fish snakes wanting the eggs oh no, oh, Abby says that was one of the predators. We we haven't had an issue. The only snakes we have here are um, garter snakes and red belly, and they're I think I don't know. Do you think a garter snake would take an egg? It's a per yeah, but mice tend to shrink down a bit. I don't know if a garter snake would be able to take one of our eggs. Certainly not the biggest eggs. We have one girl that lays a big blue egg, and she's. She's probably one of my favorite chickens. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the eggs will attract snakes. Um, and honestly, they'd have to try really hard to get into the coop. Honestly, there I've seen videos of chickens eating snakes. All right, Abby's back. We're gonna try and finish up this game before we get called for supper. Um, she's got a little bit of homeschool she's got to do yet tonight before bed. Mm. But uh, we're almost done. It's been great having a little chat break, though. And look forward to doing some more chatting with you, Russell. If you uh, have chicken questions, you can always shoot uh, shoot a message on me on Discord. Because uh, my girls have done a fair bit of research on it. 
and uh, I built the coop, so I researched the coop thing pretty hard before I, I built it. Um, when I built my coop, one thing I did was I put hardware cloth, which is like fine metal uh, cloth, all the way around the outside at the bottom and um, underneath. And then I put ro a rock uh, layer on top of the hardware cloth and then sand on top of that. I don't know how long it'll last with the moisture, but I figured it was better than letting uh, any of the, like a, a weasel in. So they're, they're fairly well protected all the way around and, and from underneath. Nothing can dig in underneath and, and get in, at least until the hardware cloth all disintegrates. All right. Hit your button to continue. Oh. Press down your button. It's going to be... All right. Smith, there it is. You are up. So focus on that one definitely for your mining because it's got mountains in it. Yeah, but I think you should be able to do both. I did both last turn. Um, considerations if you're building a coop on a slant. Um, I should try, I'll try and get some pictures of my coop so it gives you an idea. The main coop I would, like, what you want is, what was it, at least, was it 10 feet per chicken? Yeah. Uh, 10 foot square per chicken. Um, so to, in order to get your... The, mo the maximum. I don't know if you have any bylaws as to how many chickens you can have. Um, but uh, I built my run, right? So the, the total feet is your run plus your coop. And usually you want your run definitely to be uh, nice and big. So what I did is I made sure my run extended underneath my coop so the chickens can hang out under the coop and in the main run and then they have the coop to get into as well. And if that, that run is on a slant, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. But you can put posts under your coop so that your, your coop uh, floor is flat. Not sure why I switched things around there. But... Okay. I guess I just have the one left, eh? Okay, looks like ads are about to start, so I'll try not to tell you anything about coops while the ads are playing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, as long as you're making average, you... Got... Yeah, I got one that produced more over there. That one's below average. That one's below average. At least you got average on that one. So this is where you want to kind of look at the map. The map is always the same. And so you can learn which mountain ranges are like four and which ones are, are only three. Still produce 22. Well, I've produced that. <laughs> yeah. 
Even with this space helmet, maybe. We don't know what kind of atmosphere this is. Prices are dropping. Six Everyone needs it. The thing is, unless you're going to change anything now, nobody has to put out mules. Everyone's just going to go to the pub, so it might not be as big a deal. The store has 15 units, but if you can sell some, sell it. Oh, they're still going to buy some. The one guy will probably come up. 65 for food's pretty good. Really? Huh. Yeah, that's good, good news for you. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You'll probably see the computer go all out on Smithor on the last round. <gasps> I need one? Huh. Now, did my energy things just not produce well, or what? I guess I'm going to come and buy one. <laughs> oh, don't sell to the computer. Make him come up. Make him come up. He's the guy that produces all that smither. He's going to win if we don't do something for him against him. Okay, sell him at the store level. Isn't that what he needed? One? He didn't need any? He's planning to switch over. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna be hard pressed to get into third there. He's he might overtake you. Still two more months left. Alright. What? This is fair. He lost a plot of land because the claim was not recorded. Oh, that that's just wrong. Sorry, kiddo. It's not your best one, is it? That one. Oh, wow. Okay, so you see that one's a four, that one's a four, and that one's a four. Those are the only fours on the map. Although when we get into um, a tournament one, Smithor will take kind of a back seat. Although Smithor, you know what? The Smithor is used to make mules. So I think when there's a shortage on Smithor, the mules price goes up. I think that's kind of Okay. I just go and pick up Yeah, go pick up the mule, bring him back, put him into the mining, and then uh, bring him back out there. It'll be up for auction next turn. So you gotta be really quick to press your button. 
and hold it down. Food energy, huh? Yeah, he's swapping around a little bit. Um, I barely produced enough energy last time. If I, if I get if I end up getting that plot, I'm gonna move that one over and I'll put energy over there. I don't want the. Yeah, like I can outfit a mule, bring it out there. And put it over there, or you can swap mules between spots. Just pick it up and swap if you need to. Yeah. All right. Food shortage decreases time. What? I'm okay with that. Oh. Energy output's increased. Woo! That's good. That would be a good time to switch over energy to uh, sit Smith or um, at the end of the game. Nice. On food, produce one more. Produce one more. Eat on one of mine. Yeah. I think the I think the humans get a little bit of a. Although. Yeah, the computers are totally cheating. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> All right. This might be a good time to keep it. I don't think they can on the last round. I think the ship just returns. Nothing bad like that. Yeah, see, they're not selling. Also, see, nobody was buying mules either. So that might affect the price. I'm not sure... Things I didn't think about as much when I was your age and playing this game. You have energy. I have three extra energy. I wonder if I should get more. Probably don't need to. I'm not selling any though. Huh. 
Ja, sagt das Sand. Ja. Oh, I got up to second place. Not sure how. Maybe that plot of land helped. You're up by four. Yeah, that's that's not a very good lead. Okay, so. No, not the brown guy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I would, if you can. Go for it. I know I won't have enough time for it. My energies are too far away. Unless I take a mule out there, come back with the mule, and outfit it. Where's my other energy? It's over there. I don't know if I can outfit it into a full house, though. I'm not sure, like, if, if I take a mule out and then take this one and then eventually sell the, the last mule. Because I think you can sell it back to the store. Right. 70. Yeah, that's why Smither went down. I think. No, I, my timer seems to go really quick. I think that's the part of the expert mode. All right, computer, do your thing. Oh, we didn't swap all of them. I could have swapped my food, maybe. I wouldn't have gotten to the far edge, but I might have been able to swap my food. Transport ship is back. Oh, wow. Actually, they all seem to do fairly well on the last round. I've done fairly well on that one and that one. Oh, wow. What about the fours? That four is full. That four is full. That four is not full. That four is not full. Yeah. Computer cheats. He's getting five on all of his ones. A little bit. We'll see. we'll have to see if, if they keep it. I would keep it. Um, I th I think it's it might be worth fifty, as a good. I'm not sure. Yeah, I see they're not bothering to sell. I don't think it really matters. It's good. It's it's either worth the the market value or it's worth fifty.
food. I only produced three? I want a river. Go down. Or unless you're going to sell it. No, nobody's going to come up. Because nobody needs food. We're done. This is where I'm not sure whether the food price, if it's market value, then it doesn't matter either way. That's a lot of energy. No, I would keep it. Oh, the computer has surplus. It doesn't matter. He's going to run the clock out. Right, if there's no sellers, then the auction doesn't happen. So it saves you time, but when the computer has extra, they just go up as, as a seller, but they never sell it. Oh, the computer beat me. You are the founder. Congratulations. You are the first founder. That is the honor of being the first founder. They stretch out your icons so that you look big. Well, they can only do so much. You might be a little bit wider. No. It, if see if they made it too wide, then it would make, it wouldn't let the stuff fit. Minimum, minimum, minimum. Yeah, and you won by almost two thousand. Oh look, that guy beat you by nine. Because he cheats when it comes to production. Cheating computer. Hey, Ultra. How's it going? You just came in at the end of our stream here. Let me give you a shout out though, because you're always so good to be in my chat. So we have been playing Mule on a Commodore 64 emulator, uh, because I don't have a Commodore 64 anymore, even though I wish I did some days. The Commodore 64 Wicko joystick was the best joystick ever. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show Abby one of the games that I used to play at her age with my buddy. And we, I don't know how many games of Mule we played, but Mule was one of our go-tos. And Archon uh, 1 and 2 was one of our go-tos. Um, we played a game called Ultima 3, Exodus... And I don't know, I don't think either of us finished it. Um, but you can play that together. Although I think we did, I think we uh, we did sort of play it together uh, collectively. Um, we played Elite, da uh, not Elite Dangerous, but the, the old school Elite, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, there's a game called Adventure Construction Set, which was really inventive you could make your own adventures set up your own game uh, but it was because of the the technology of the day it was a pretty excruciating experience it was pretty slow um, yeah there was just some other games I'm gonna try and try and highlight them on my stream at some point there was a game I had my parents bought it for me and uh, it was kind of special because they didn't tend to buy me that many computer games. Um, I had to beg and borrow from friends. But uh, they got me a role-playing game that was kind of in the style of Dungeons & Dragons. But it was called 
I think it was Champions of Kryn, and it was like a crazy eight floppy disk game that um, unfortunately was really excruciating to play because every time you fought, every time you did something, if you, I think it was even looking at your inventory, yeah, even just looking at your inventory, it said swap to disk number whatever, and it was just a slow load time. But but the concept, I mean, the detail they put into it, you could take damage on your arm, and if you took too much damage on your arm, you couldn't swing a sword anymore uh, in that arm. And yeah, like it was a really detailed game that, yeah, I wish uh, wish hadn't it been so excruciating to play because it was it's just brutal that way. But I'll probably try and highlight it just for fun some night on the uh, old school retro stream. Yeah. Although I think the emulator allows me to um, speed up loading, so uh, I, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. I thought this one let me put in multiple. I thought I could set up um, like about eight disk drives and have them and just load up one disk in each one, but I don't think this one does. It might have been a different emulator I was using at the time. Anyway, our supper is almost on. It's time to go and help set the table and get stuff out. So we are done for tonight. I might be back later to do some fishing, but uh, no guarantees. Uh, we were out of town today and everyone was a little bit tired. Oh, it just goes through that cycle again. We get to see the map and then we get to see the guys march out again. It just goes into an endless cycle. Here, push your button. Oh, wait. Now push your button. Shows you the end map. And then press your button again. And then we get to do the March of Honor. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in and hanging out on the channel. And hopefully you enjoyed uh, some old school Commodore 64 fun. And uh, I'm definitely I've got a couple games that uh, this is one I really want to play with Abby I've got a couple games I want to uh, highlight um, on my own um, one game called Defender of the Crown I man I fell in love with that game it was it was sold as a um, it was an interactive interactive movie experience and it really did kind of meet that that uh, bill where you kind of played a part in this, well, as best as they could do at the time, kind of cinematic movie. Anyway, uh, that'll be on a future stream for sure. Anyway, thanks for coming out, and um, we're just going to call it quits for now. Chickens are in bed, so the cam is... Uh, if I could con connect to the cam... Let me see if I can get it up. No, the cam's not even come up for me. I gotta do a little bit of work on the cams and get them, uh, get the unit closer to the cams so I can pick up the chickens better. Not sure why, but they're not picking up today. I'll, I'm gonna blame it on the cold weather. The weather got cold and the cams don't want to work as well. I don't want to work as well in the cold either. Anyway, have a good night all, and uh, we will see you again soon. Thanks for stopping in.